Hello everyone and welcome to another live stream with me, Danger Pool. We're playing The Witcher 3 again. Obviously, if you looked at my channel, you'll see that all we have is The Witcher 3. But um, that will soon be remedied. I intend to uh, start playing some other games. Um, you probably know it is. There's never enough time, right? I've been playing a bit of Stranded Deep. Uh, I'm going to stick to doing The Witcher on Wednesdays. And I think I would like to start doing Stranded Deep um, some other day of the week. I don't, I don't know yet. We will see. Um, and there's, there's another game coming out in August that I really like the look of. Um, oh, what's it called again? <laughs> it's a samurai game. Wukong. Black Myth Wukong. That looks ace. So, um, but let's keep it Witcher 3 right now, shall we? Um, we are... Huh, where are we? Right, we're at Chuchote Cave. We've just, cle just cleared out some arachnomorphs for the uh, local traders that are nearby. Um, and we went on a little mission to see some, check out some wildlife with a fella. Uh, some... Baron or Ducal? I can't remember what his name was now. Um, but that, that was pretty good. Um, let's have a look at our quests. Right, so Big Game Hunter, uh, Count Belladale. That was the guy. And currently we have to wait until noon tomorrow to go and meet him and carry on that quest. So in the meantime... In the meantime, what do we do? We have this one here that's got no level associated to it. Night for hire. Go to the Ducal Camelengo to learn the details of the contract. Geralt came across an altogether typical looking notice. Someone was looking for the help of knights or other strongmen. He concluded he met the above stated requirements and set up for Knights Dormant Square to meet with the Ducal Camelengo. Okay, cool. Um... Let's go and meet the Ducal Camelengo. So where is that? Okay, it's down in the city. Cool, All right then, well let's go ourselves to the fast travel point. Set ourselves a marker there. And there's a notice board there that I need to read as well. Here in ah. fair, all's right and fair. I suppose I should just read it whilst I'm here, shouldn't I? Get a load more missions. Test yourself with the trials of the virtues. Dear reader, years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Come to the Isle on Lac Selevee, uh, perhaps? And test the rightness of your character during the trials. If you pass, you shall receive a reward. Interesting. Fisticuffs. Hey, tough guys. Smacked down your brother-in-law and now you're feeling invincible. Neighbours step aside when they see you coming. Got violence in your heart. Then perhaps it's high time you fought for the title of Brawl Master of Beauclair. Defeat three champions and you'll get the honour of facing the maestro himself. Seek more information from bookies in San Sebastian and by the docks. Cool. Okay. Don't mind. Uh, don't mind a bit of a fist fight. <clears throat> Armed escort wanted. We wish to hire a person or persons with good weapon skills who, for a reasonable fee, will escort us into the Alberta's cavern for exploratory purposes. The knights errant claim the cave harbors no dangers, so we don't expect trouble. But better safe than sorry. Yeah, we all know what that means, mate. There's definitely going to be trouble in that cave then. August Lucian and Hugo Monart. All right, August Lucian and Hugo. Interested to see what dangers we're going to find in that cave. And this one is for a contract, a Grandmaster Armourer. Ah, at last. Excellent. Right, so um, our 
Our Witcher armor has always had this. Um, it, it states there that you get these perks if it's leveled up to Grandmaster level, but I'd never seen before how to get to Grandmaster level. I'd never found a Grandmaster armor. So here we are at last. Fantastic. Master Armour at Imboclair seeks brave man to help recover long lost diagrams. Contract is highly dangerous, as such will be lucratively rewarded. Excellent. Contract, quarrelling at the cemetery. Since no one from our residence committee seems to think it is their responsibility, I'll write it myself. This cannot go on. That infernal racket coming from the cemetery is driving us mad and no one is doing anything about it. I know we all hear it, Madame Bouquet admitted it keeps her awake all night long and she lives further away from the cemetery than any of us. If there is any witcher who can put an end to all the screaming, brawling and insults, I'll pay him from my own pouch. Ask them to point out Charles Lanzano at the Clever Clogs. That'll be me. <coughs> Excuse me. Wanted. Discreet specialist. Wanted. Professional to investigate mystery concerning Reginald de Aubrey's statue. Requirements. Indomitable work ethic. Absolute discretion. And refinement in supernatural situations. Desirable. Immaculate presentation. Mm, arguable. Aesthetic sensitivity and knowledge of modern sculpture. For details, please see Roland de Flakfizer, curator of art and collectibles. I think we meet those criteria, don't we? Might be worth looking into. Nice tune. Something of Witcher? Was that truly necessary? Oh, nice. What are they? Chopped liver? Right. Okay, where were we headed? Oh, who's shouting? Calm down, son. What's this place? Oh! How do we get in here then? What's this pub? Locked as well. Come on, let me in the pub. The exhibition of the Reginald Dogry Monument will remain closed until further notice. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. You're a cheat, sir. And we paid good coin for the tickets. Don't crowd Give around. Back. Your tickets remain valid. You must merely wait patiently for the exhibition to reopen. Well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> the uh, exhibition is closed. Hey there. Hey there. Ow. Ahoy. Oh. Ahoy. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. Roger, what then? What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt to Frivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. <laughs> Here it is, our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry, a giant among lovers, a poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. <laughs> Somebody stole the testicles. <clears throat> of a statue. <clears throat> no ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. 
Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont plant and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Sorry, Reginald, don't worry. Damn. So, we end up looking for Reginald's nuts. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Get a close look, girl. Dried blood stain. Blood from a statue. What do we have here? Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Fancy leaving your tools lying around after you've just used them to extract some tools. It will all work out. It must. Just a few more ledges. And I shall get to Mukasa's conquer. In fact, I wonder if a witcher pays any taxes at all. Now drink us some. What's that fella talking about? Why do you care about our taxes? Some sources going on in here. Oop. Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I I tripped, rolled, tumbled, then landed where she already lay. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. That's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? That's what she said, man. And why are you in my home? Out now, or I'll summon the guards. Calm down. Just here to talk. I, uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off. You're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! 
Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin, skeleton! What the love's this? Rosalinta! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! Oh god. <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes. That'll be best. I I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm hmm So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will... Three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Nah. Nah, they, everybody should be able to uh, touch the balls, right? They're not just for him. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But, but if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two, uh, three at the most. Shit out of luck. Sorry. At the day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. Thanks, and good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. <laughs> Right, um, talk to the art curator. So we head back. Crikey, I don't know my way around this city. Patrolling on an empty stomach. Oof, dreadful. Patrolling on oh, an empty stomach. Good. Poor fella. Oh, hang on. Perhaps we should uh, get some music on. Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, we sure got have. Back. Lepiotus, luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Oh, thank you. Well, we could do with a room for the night, I suppose, couldn't we? Um, why don't we head back to... That's locked, of course that's locked. Is everything locked? Why don't we head back to Corvo Bianco, 
and then we can um, boost our stats, have a kip, and then we can come back and attack this, uh, we come back and stroke Reginald's uh, stones. And then our other quest with uh, Count Belladol will be uh, will be available. Oh yeah, why don't you have to go in the pub? Why can't I go in the pub? Watch where you step. Oh, maybe the pub's upstairs. I wish you health. <coughs> Corvo Bianco, there it is. Oh, hang on. Right, so I guess I sleep first and then go around the stat boosts. No. I haven't really done this before. So if we use the bed. I believe this will give us some options. Yeah, excellent. Right, so um, sleep until 6 a.m. Let's give him a few hours. Right, so one hour literally gives all those. So maybe we'll just go till 7. Rest here to gain bonuses of uh, maximum vitality increased by 1,000 points. That's awesome. The library gives 5% bonus to experience gain during combat. Nice. Alchemy Laboratory gives bombs and potions gain an additional charge. Awesome. And Roach's stamina is increased by 100%. That is quality. That's some pretty awesome stats. I, th I wondered if I actually had to sort of go around and interact with all of those items but it looks like just staying in the bed is good enough which is good because it would get tedious wouldn't it really going around and using all these things major domo how you doing mate how might i be off surface sir well that's it so once you've done your initial storyline with him, then Thanks. it would appear he's got back to my nothing else to now. offer. See you soon. What a shame. How are we doing in our inventory? Oh, we're carrying quite a lot of rubbish. I need to go to a trader, really. I want to sell a lot of this crap. Um... Knight Errant Saddle, 90 stamina. So there you go, so Geralt of Rivia's Saddle, that's 90 as well. Um, what are those? Armed Escorted. Yeah, I've read these before. These are off the... Um, off the notice board in the, in the city that we just read. So it's funny, you read them off the uh, notice board, but it doesn't count them as read. You have that, you then have to go into your menu and make sure that you've read them. Count Belladal's map. Yeah, we, we read that, we looked at that. And the old map of Toussaint. There's another one that hasn't been read. Oh, a junk note, that's why. Okay. Someone needs an escort. Not something I do often, but might be worth investigating. Daylight, that's better. The bushel of creeps is more a burden than that skin of if thy lips don't stink of my 
Meet Regis at Mere Lachaise Long Cemetery. No, right, so I'm going back to the city and we will see. Which one was it? Oh. Right, let's try and find our way back to the, uh, to the statue. I want to see if there's some sort of buff or perk to um, to touch in that fella's nuts. Night for hire. Was this it? Is it a coincidence? Was that just in the same place? Congratulations on your victory in the tourney, Witcher. Oh, Ooh, cheers, hey. right? And where does Celestine wander of late? Ah, the Ducal Camelanga. Right, so it would appear that, that other mission that we did wasn't that wasn't the mission I thought it was. Right, so Oh right, I don't know how to get to um Oh my god, I don't know how to get to that place where the statue was now. Oh, Jesus, please don't let me just end up wandering around aimlessly. Um, now, there was... Uh, this could be it, because there was a pub I couldn't get into, so let's... Yeah, I think that's it. Best cure for the beast, for which I work, doth one you know. Slow. Unbelievable. Oh. What are you doing down there, mate? Look at all these people pissed up at lunchtime. <laughs> Snow White, you with the exquisite hair. Hello. What are we come across here? Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair. The scar, ah, the frown, it's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir, admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes, oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint affords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. You can't say no to that, can you? Long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. We've but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Cool. And there's another question mark on the other side of this wall as well. well no. Right, how do I get to that? And there's an armor. What do we have here? Is this the artist's shop then? Nothing here to collect. Are the serendipity? I I'm so glad you're back. The of the Duquesa has... 
Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You a high interest one, I hope. Withdrawal. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. <laughs> Neat! Gotta stop by that bank. Money, money, money! Good to see you again. Right. Distracted again. I simply haven't the time. Ah, good day. I came out of Oxenford Academy with high honors, yet any broad shouldered lumper. Right. Have we met this fellow before? The best armor around. That is what I forge. Ah. I like it when they're modest. Excellent. We'll have a cheeky game of Gwent with this guy. Let's see what he's got for sale. What have you got there? We'll be able to sell off some of this crap we've been carrying around as well. Looks like there's lots of fancy armour in there. None that's of any interest to us. Heavy armour. Yeah, I don't want anything heavy. Oh, Witcher armour's quality, isn't it? Um, right then, blinders. Lots and lots of fancy blinders, and they're all... 60 and saddles are all 90. Ooh, saddlebags 110. Saddlebags might be worth it. I'm not sure what our current saddlebags are. Okay, he's got quite a lot of. Um, Quite a lot of goodies there. Let's just have a quick check of what our uh, so what our saddlebags are. Wrong button. Excuse me. Yeah, look at that. Our current saddlebags are only ten. Excellent. More carry weight. Love that. So let's unequip those, and you we will no trade glitches. with him, oh, and we might as well just uh, sell those straight to him. Need something crafted? You willing? How much does he want for it? 251, that's not bad. Excellent. Alright then, so we will sell him, yep, the stock saddle, the knight errant saddle, the Zeracanian saddlebags, that's what we had before. And excellent, we will equip those. Right, let's sell off this rubbish here. Gotta get as much of that money back as we can. Oh, I should have put those dies in my stash box while we were back at Corvo Bianco. Not, uh, not to matter. How much money have we got? Fifty-two grand. Okay, we've got a fair bit of money. 
I don't need to be selling every last little thing. Uh, yeah, I haven't really got much to sell, weirdly. Right, okay, so um, let's sort so of quick look through the rest of his stock. No, that's just all the crap I've sold him. Okay, right, so we've got no new... I believe we've we've currently got the best um, outfit. We're currently wearing the best outfit that you that we can get that's available to us. Let's just have a quick look though, just to be sure. Yeah, don't so we can't craft anything. Ooh, we'll get stuff repaired though. Look at that, fifty-eight percent, seventy. Crikey, yep, definitely need all that repaired. Good job we came across this guy. Don't want to remove any upgrades, no sir. Um, don't think I want to dismantle anything either. Yeah, we're not in need of anything. Right, cool. That got a bit of weight off us, and it got us uh, 10 extra carry weight. Fantastic. And of course, a cheeky little game it went. I'm probably going to lose, so I'm just going to lower the stakes. Up for a round of Gwent? And we'll play with our trusty Northern Realms. Don't believe I've had any new cards since uh, since I last played. If you like Gwent, a couple of streams ago, we played a hell of a lot of Gwent. It was just one of those, just one of those sessions where everybody we came across was 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 ready to play a game of Gwent. So um, yeah, look back at that if you uh, if you like Gwent. What's the point in all of that? Christ. So we've got three Gaunt Road Dim cards here. Um, we only need to play one to get all three, so yeah, a bit annoying uh, that we've got all three in one draw. And that's given us this medic, she's very useful. Thank you very much, Thala. We'll use a decoy here to pull that one back. And then of course we'll play that on our next round. So, right, we have 12 cards, he has 9. Oh, and we've got another spy card as well. Awesome. Well, you keep playing cards, bro. Because as long as I've got these spies, I just keep increasing my pack. And what did we get there? We got the Siege card. Right then, yeah, so this is um, 713. So this is perfect. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this um, throw this round. Let him have it. So now I've got nearly twice as many cards as him, um, which means I should comfortably win the next two rounds. Let's see. Look at that, we've got a, oh, did we get another card there? Okay, so I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna lay out the special cards first, because we can't scorch them. Okay, now if I was to play... My medic. Can I get my decoy card back? I don't know. Let's just give it a go. What have we got to lose? No. Ah, oh, there's nothing. Can't get my decoy card back. What a shame. I'm going to keep playing the special cards. At the moment, if he plays 
a Scorch card, then it'll be, his cards are obviously worth more than mine. So, um, so yeah, he's not going to play a Scorch card as long as his cards are of a higher value than mine. Now, right, okay, so I'm going to start playing my lowest value cards first. Uh, so both of those will create, uh, they'll go to 8 each, so worth, they're worth 16 points between two of them, so this one alone will be my lowest value card. Awesome, right, he's passed, so um, I just need to find 3 points. So, the reason I'm uh, deliberating is because obviously both of these, well sorry I say obviously, maybe it's not obvious. These are both worth 6, but with my leader card they will be worth 12, so there's 24 points there if I played them together. So I want to save them for the next round. These will be worth 24, uh, sorry, 16 if played together. And four, eight, twelve. And these will play, uh, twelve have played together. Mm. Right. So actually, what I want to do is I want to play one of these, don't I? You know, if I play this, will it play the other three? Right. Now I'm not sure here because these don't multiply. I don't think so. This would be you play one of these, it'll play all three. So that'd be four, eight, twelve. If I play both of these, then they do multiply, so that would be 16. Yeah, in which case, these are worth less. Excellent, right. So, I shall play that. And now I shall pass on that. Okay, right, we're even Stevens. Five cards each. So let's hope that he doesn't scorch me now. Okay, I've just got a pretty awesome card there. If I just play this one and not the other, then that'll stay worth four. Okay, well I can't scorch that. That's frustrating. Let's play one of those. Is it going to scorch me? Yep, there it is. There's the scorch card. Son of a bitch. Card as well. Now, what are the so this card I can't remember what it's called here. Scorch Close Combat Villain Tretton Mirth. That only works. It'll only scorch your opponent's first first row, the foot soldiers, if the score is worth more than ten. And as you can see there, he's got that uh, Triss card that's worth seven. So hopefully now he will play something on that first row that'll... Yes! Perfect! Right. So now I get to uh, scorch that... Um, I can't remember. Vez? Is that her name? Come on, be good. Right, that was his last card. Excellent. So he's all out. I've got my leader card which is going to multiply that siege card, it was 12. There you go. Smashed you, mate. So hopefully we get a cool uh, Skelliger card now. What you got for us, bro? 20 card. Yeah, Camby, new item received. Camby card. Let's look at our grunt deck and see what Camby is. Um, let's go across to our Skelliger deck. Can be, that looks fancy. Oh, I love that. Um, so, is that like the, that's like the cow card, isn't it? You play it, and then the next round it gets replaced with something that's, that's worth more. Awesome. 
Okay, we need to equip our saddlebag. Boom, 170 carry weight. Fantastic. That went very well. We've got up here. Anything worth stealing? Nah. Right then, we were looking for that fella's nutsack, weren't we? <laughs> right. Um Okay. Let's go to this marker. Many times before the death. The valiant Three cheers for the tourney's crisis. Hooray! 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 I love this city. What a cool place you this is. You are the famed Geralt of Rivia, are you not? Yes. Yeah. Well, that'll be me. So this is where... Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Found it. Thank you for your help. Lepiota reward you with copious offspring. Copious offspring, dear oh dear. Are you just going to try and nail it back on, dude? What happened to my free touch? Sunlight captured in a bottle. Okay, right then. Where are we off to? So, yes, yeah, so there's night for hire. That's what we were doing just in the meantime, wasn't it? So, um, oh my god, there's just tons of missions now. Big game hunter at noon. Go to Count Belladon's lodgings and take part in the picnic. Sweet. Right, this. I want to do this. What time of day is it? Ooh. Oh, right. Okay, bit of a mission away. <clears throat> cool. Well, I guess we'll <coughs> start running then. Uh, it's 11.52. Right, crikey, we better get a shuffle on. Ah, uh, poor old Milton. Killed by the beast. We couldn't save him. Right then, is there a big old hill there? I wonder if we can just run up there as the crow flies. Oh crikey, I'm going to end up dying here, aren't I? Careful, Geralt. Yeah, if we're to get there for noon, I think we're going to have to just leg it as the crow flies and hope. You spread some nastiness to me. Is this Corvo Bianco? Ooh. Oh no, what, what is this place? That's another vineyard. Pigs can fly. My stomach growls like an angry wolf. <laughs> Some nastiness to me. There's so much in this map that I haven't seen yet. Wow, what is all this? Right, okay, we have made it. Let's see, I mean, there's 
20 past 12. This counts at noon, surely. Count Berledal is expecting you. Excellent. in the courtyard with the other guests. That Trump is the famed witcher? Do you fear taking a bath? Count Belladal. Wow, look at those pictures he took. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Oh, what a gentleman. You are free to sell it, of course. I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. The honor's all mine. Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. Do not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean a pastor through Dolblathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. But besides... Uh, besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intense someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Nice meeting you. So long now. So that was it. We just went there to collect our painting. Well, I say just. I mean, like, that's a perfectly good reason. I'm over the moon to get that painting. The account ledger. Interesting. Why would that just be lying around? Order for wine from Toussaint. Baron Arianini. Two firkins of SS, one firkin of Pomino. Note if there is no Pomino, you can send MRS. Nobody will know the difference. I don't think I need to read all those, apart from just the last one. I see the Miss Lucinda, and she hasn't paid for the last delivery yet. <laughs> What's that on the wall there then? Wanted murderous Vandegilders, Antoine Starling Stragon, Loth alias Halfbreed, Philibert Four Fingers von Witten. I expect we'll be uh, asked to bring them in then. Yep, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Nice. A little bit of looty. Never thought I'd live to see times like these. 
I wonder if there's anything interesting in the bar. Oh, a new marker. Excellent. Fast travel marker. That's handy. That's a nice spot there. Enjoying a bit of guards. Enjoying a bit of fishing over there as well. Good on you, lads. raid all the tables shall we? It seems a bit rude but uh, if nobody's going to stop me. Cheers easy. Oh why don't you look at that. Letter from the wife of Count Belladon. He leaves, why is he leaving stuff just lying around like this? Mind you I don't suppose it would make a very good story if we couldn't access them. Right, a letter from the wife of Count Baladal. My dearest, everything here is good. For several days now, the sun has been shining and it is quite hot, so the windows in Clarissa's room is open almost all day. If you could see her little face when rays of sunlight hit it, pure joy. She looks just like she was before the accident. If it gets a bit warmer, I will have her chair taken to the garden. The day before yesterday, Master Boyabard's wife, Elisa, Elisa, at least they visited us. You remember her, don't you? When the Boyvards moved to Kavir, all the society ladies were scared of inviting her to dine as she seemed to be either mad or some sort of self-taught witch. This was all because, despite not having the right education, she made magic ointments and cosmetics. It's said that she spent three years in the Dragon Mountains learning from some elven sorceress. You know I don't pay much heed to gossip, which is why when the butler announced her, I immediately invited her in for a glass of lemonade. It turns out that she is an exceedingly charming person, and stories of her alleged witchcraft are highly exaggerated. She actually studied for three years at Aratusa, but because of some bad investments made by her father, she had to leave the academy. She left, however, with a good knowledge of plants and their magical applications. She brought with her a healing ointment, which I had to rub into Clarissa's legs each morning and evening for ten days. When the treatment is complete, Elisa promises to visit us again to see the results and advise us further. I have a good feeling about this woman. In my next letter, I'll tell you what happened with the treatment she recommended. Take care of yourself, my dearest. I beg that you don't overreact and do something silly. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to do. I love you, Arabella. What a sweet letter. Lebioda's wounds. Mm. Geralt of Rivia. As I live and breathe, sir. They say Oxenford scholars have proved that the white wolf taming bow clair centipedes i love that you can see his reflection on the... <laughs> look at his face a witcher taming peacocks these are really good Gerald and a panther. Of course, we helped the panther, didn't we? That was quality. Right then, even more missions. Guide wanted in my capacity as a scholar at the Imperial Academy. I've spent the better part of the last two decades studying ancient elven culture. My most recent research bears the work, working title The Influence of Ancient Elven Architecture on Human Structures. I am aware the Corroberta Woods have been classified as extremely dangerous by the Duke of Guard, <clears throat> but to a true scholar, the quest for knowledge is what matters most, more than even life itself. That is why I seek a local hunter or knight to be my guide and guard. Serious offers only. 
Francois de Valla, I challenge you, you syphilitic scrawler of spurious slander. I've read your lampoon of my rhyme scheme theory and challenge you to a literary duel. If you have any shred of dignity and courage about you, come to the next soiree at Lady Oriana's residence with three poems prepared. We will recite in turns and then subject ourselves to the judgment of the literary men and women present. Not respectfully, as you deserve no respect and no signature, as you know very well who wrote this message. Wow, he's angry. Will buy bees. I'm a beekeeper. That is to say I was, until last year a mysterious plague wiped out all the bees in my hives, and I won't stoop to stealing wild ones. If you've any bees for sale, I'll gladly buy them. Okay. Players of the one and only true Gwent wanted. That cocksucking Count Monnier insists on fucking up Gwent, so I've decided to say fuck him and organise a tournament of my own. I can he promise you all that Monnier's finery for I ain't as rich as that bastard. You can be damn sure, however, that unlike Monnier's, we'll play the one and only true Gwent with no shitty Skelliger faction. Yaki Raffiberg. Okay, well, I'll enter that as well. I've seen ghosts. I'm looking for others who, like me, have encountered a strange presence in the Caraberta woods. I would like to discuss what we have experienced. Dago Bear. As in... Dago Bear? That's got... Is that a play on Star Wars? Dago Bear. What's that in Star Wars? If you know, please drop a comment and uh, tell me what what is coming to my mind there. Dagobah, is that a solar system in Star Wars? The Dagobah. It'll come to me after the stream, no doubt. Hortense Vineyard closed until further notice. During an attack by hideous creatures resembling overgrown insects, the owner of Hortense Vineyard sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Hortense Vineyard will be closed until further notice. Our sincere apologies. That sounds something like something... Excuse me. That sounds like something we could help with. Okay, right into the bar. Let's see what's going on in here. The Scarlet Cardinal Inn. Thank you. Welcome to my humble establishment. What land do you hail from? Uh, been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Ah, is it true what they say? About the war, death, destruction, all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking, but I family in Edam, see? So I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Mentioned you have a family in Edam. Where about, if you don't mind my asking? In Wengerberg? You've been there, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, number of times. It's the hometown of my... Of someone very dear to me. Ah, uh, good old Yen. Yeah. Pretty town, Wengerberg. Also didn't suffer too much during the invasion, from what I know. Oh, that is a relief to hear. A weight off my shoulders, I tell you. Her accent is disturbing me. Okay, just food and wine. Yeah, I don't think we need any of... Oh, hang on. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do need some of these, actually. Depends how many we've got, though. Mandrake Cordial, Mahakaman Spirit, Redanian Herbal, Milf Guardian Lemon, Cherry Cordial. Yeah, we use all of those in potions. I'm sure we do.
Bear with me whilst I just look through my menus here. I appreciate this isn't very good, uh, very good for viewing. So I haven't got any yet. How can that be right? Is it? Is it in alchemy though? Mahakam and Spirit, uh, Nov Guardian Lemon, look at that, 33 of them, right, I'm not going to buy any of them then. Um, if, only I could, if only they weren't red, so I could bloody see what they are. Right, Dwarven Spirit, I've got 48, and Temerian Rye, Redanian Herbal, I've got 31, right, I don't need to. I don't need to buy any of those. Um, but can I sell some of this crap to her? It'd be good if I could get rid of some of it. Oh, looks like she's interested in this uh, other gobbins. Right, cool. Okay, so I'm just going to sort this by weight. And hopefully we can get rid of... Some of the heavy stuff like pelts, rope ladders can go, chain, I sus right, that's a metal might be useful, keep silver, um, candelabra I think is silver, get rid of the bear hides, a rusty hammerhead, we'll ditch that, gold, we'll keep the gold, gold and pearls, keep them. Get rid of the hide. The gold mug will keep that. Valuable fossil. No idea what they're for, but I'm going to keep them. Dimeritium will keep that. Gold, gold. Yeah, we'll keep all the precious metals. Old sheepskin can go. A blunt pickaxe. It's junk grass. It's only going to be like iron and wood, isn't it? Yeah, we'll ditch that. We'll keep the copper. A jug. Ditch that, and it's certainly going to be ceramic, isn't it? A broken meteorite pickaxe. I guess we'll keep that because it might have some meteorite metal in it. Is that? I don't know if that's what that's worth. Wax. We'll keep that for the wax casket. And you got one. I don't know what it does. So we'll keep that. Empty bottles. We'll keep them in case we use them to make potions. Melitale figurine. Worn leather pelts. So we're going to get rid of my pelts. Get rid of the wolf hide, a bag of grain. Seems like something we might want to keep. A patched up vest. Um, I don't suppose we want to dress up like a hobo, do we? Silver, a butter knife, a flute. We'll sell two, we'll keep one flute. A goblet might be metal. Glass, I'm not sure if that is valuable. We'll keep one just in case. Keep the perfume in case we want to offer a gift. Can be sold for a significant sum. Well, it says it's worth three coins, so. Right? so. An old goat hide, we'll get rid of that. Skulls we don't use. We don't use these vials. We'll get rid of five of them. Corks. Not sure why, where we got the corks. Okay, I've got rid of a bit of crap. Obviously, we can sell a lot of this food, but we do not need. God, I've got tons of this crap. Well, it's worth pennies, so I can't be bothered. Okay, right. Cheeky little round of Gwent then, and we'll be on our way.
You play much Gwent? Up for a quick match, maybe? Aim to hop on a horse after making merry. Don't even consider it. Ah, damn it. This card has cancelled my, um... Cancelled my lead card. Damn. Okay, right, I get to redraw. Do I want to redraw? Oh, wow, look at that. That's a good, uh, good draw. Um, no, I mean, this is a good uh, round. I... I guess I could redraw that because just one is kind of useless on its own. Nice, that was a good draw. Yeah, maybe we'll redraw Triss in the hope that we can get more than a seven. Did we get there? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, not bad. Let's head straight in with the spike cards. What did we get there? We got another siege card and a fog card. Okay, so is that even the Rain in this land, torrential rain. Is that oh, that's for siege cards? Um, now I've got four siege cards, but yeah, you know, I haven't got my leader card. God damn it, that's still pretty good. So I don't want to play, don't want to play the uh, torrential rain card just now. Right, so he's got six on his front row. What am I gonna do? Let's play. Let's play this. Pull out one of the big lads, straight in with a 12. Yeah, right, so he's gonna lose one of uh, his cards now to the Scorch. Right, okay, so we're, we lost 12, he lost four. Not too bad, we're one card up, we're only two points behind. Let's hope he didn't have two Scorch cards. Right then, let's use our special cards then, I guess. He's going in with the uh, with the heavy cards and with the siege. Okay, commander horn, right? So twenty-two against twenty-five. This isn't enough of a lead for me to uh, pass on this game just yet. Um. We're going to have to play something. Yeah, okay, let's play some Siege cards. Oh, hang on, I could play... Yeah, let's do this. That will reduce him 18 points. Awesome. There you go, look at that. From 22 down to 22. Uh... I'm going to pass at that. He's going to have to play a lot of cards to catch up now. I reckon he'll pass. Yeah. Right then, I'm going to throw everything at this round now. Make sure that I win. Oh, we got an extra card. Excellent. Oh, and I get to play, uh, play another card from the last round. Right, we'll go straight in with that. And, oh right, okay, so that's all I can play. Four it is then. Okay, so he's got more cards than us. 
but um, with me using Dandelion here, I shall increase that card he gave us to an 8, so fair trade off, I think. Distracted there for a moment, excuse me. Okay, so his highest card that isn't special is a one, so I mean he could get a very successful scorch on me. We've got to be careful. Damn, he's pulling out all the special cards now. I need him to put something down on that front row, the infantry row. Come on, put something down on the first row. Oh. We'll find out now if he's got any Scorch cards. Okay, I'm guessing he hasn't got a Scorch card because he could have he could have really hurt me there if he'd used it. Uh, so, time to go in with the big hitters. Yes, excellent. Right, so I shall uh, scorch that last card that he just played there. Have that, mate. Right then, our final card. It's a beast card though, look at that, 123, he's going to have to have two pretty special cards here if he's going to do anything with that. Ooh. Please don't give him a Scorch card. Oh, and now it turns out he's got a million Spy cards. Give me a break. F off. Dude's pulling out every Scorch card, so every bloody spy card from his pack now. Ridiculous. Okay, come on, give me a card. There you go. Ermion card. So let's just have a quick look. At our Skelliger deck and see what this new Ermion card is. Ooh, it's a special. I think it's got a little mushroom symbol on. I wonder what that does. Can I view the card? There you go. Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards. Ah, okay. I haven't got any. Have I got any Berserkers? Right, I'm not sure. Um. Can be. Summon Avenger. When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card. Yes, yeah, so it's like the cow. That's a commander's horn. Look at that siege card and commander. So that's like dandelion, essentially, then. Um, control and shield. Yeah, all pretty standard stuff. Mysterious elf. Yeah, and these are all cards that we have in other packs. This is all standard stuff. It reduces the strength of all range and siege units. Great, you know, if you've got loads of infantry cards, um, I can't see getting much opportunity to use that. Okay, cool. Well, new card acquired. Anything in here worth stealing? This is a big old pump. Okay, this music is loud. Shush. Right, where are we off to? What's this? Is that another... 
Amara, yes. <laughs> Look at this dude's bowl cut. Nice. Um, okay, more Gwent. Mind showing me your wares? Has this dude got anything good? Don't want any of this armor. Saddlebags 110. Saddles are all 90. And the blinders are all 60. So no, don't need any of that. Don't need any of these materials. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't need anything crafting or repairing. Right. No. Um, so unless I've got anything to sell him, which I don't think I have. I don't need this man's services. No. Right, okay. Just bear with me so I can disappear for a wee. Excuse me. Thank you for waiting. Go straight into a bit more Gwent, then, shall we? Gwent. Interested in a round or two? Justin, jewel encrusted Galligaskins. The latest rage. Jewel encrusted Galligaskins, eh? What we got here? We got a cow. Okay, so we'll trade in the Blue Stripe Commando and the Biting Frost. Yes, the Scorch card, nice. And what did I get instead of the Blue Stripe Commando? I think I got, I think I got that Medic, not sure. Right, okay. Come on, Siggy, give me something good, yes. Another spy card. If only I had a decoy here now. Well, if he's just going to pass at that, then I am going to try and. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. Right, so I need eight. I need nine. Nine points to win the round. So I'll use, yeah, one of my special cards. And I'll lay down the cow. So if I lay down the cow, then on my next round, you will get replaced with a card that's worth eight. You've just handed me the game, fella. And look at that, I've got a dandelion, that's going to boost that, um, whatever that is, on the front row to a 16. Nice. Right, and obviously you want to be careful here to um, 
I don't succumb to his scorch cards. I'm going to keep my score low initially. Yeah, good point. I should probably just play my special cards. They can't get scorched. Hmm. I really need him to play something big. I don't want to scorch my own card. Oh my god, it's just all special cards. Uh, right, so if I play my medic here, then I believe I've got a, a special card worth. Ooh, nice. Alright, I'll play that again then. Come on, give me something good. Oh, okay. Excellent. I shall um, play this rain card then. There's no use scorching each other now. The only cards that we've both got exposed are special cards. Um, I guess now's a good time to play my siege cards and my front row cards. Yeah, because that'll only be worth one. Oh, well, he must be desperate if he's playing that morale boost card on, on, uh, on his middle row where there's only a special card. Um, right then, so I'm down to my last three now. Sorry, when I, after I've played this, my last three will all be um, archers, which is awkward because I'm not, it looks like I'm not going to get an opportunity to use um, a scorch card. What a shame! Right, so if I play the morale boost card on the archers, that's going to give me 4, 8, 12, so 24, 34 versus. 12. Ah, right, so yeah, I need to play that in the center there. Same tactic as him then. I wonder if he's got some cards to play on that middle middle ground. Well, I can't hold off anymore, can I? I'm going to have to play them. cards on the board, all two. Yeah, so I can't use my Scorch card now then. Um, oh, I forgot about my leader card. It's a good job I didn't use that morale boost on the Siege card, isn't it? Oh, no, what have you done? Son of a bitch! God, he smashed everything. Wow. Well, I can't win. 
I definitely can't win that, can I? Right, so, no, I'm going to pass that. Hope that we get an extra card from the Northern Realms perk now. He's got no cards. So, I don't need much to win this. Be good. No, so he's got an extra card, Trebuchet, and I got fuck off. Right, well, I'm just going to burn that. So, right, is this going to be a draw then? It's going to be a draw, right? What a funny old game. I thought I'd got that one in the bag. <laughs> I'll get you this time. Right, okay. This is exactly the same draw as last time. Um, let's trade this fella in. Yes, two catapults. That is a nice round. Um, don't want to trade anything else in. Can I do better than him? Yeah, I mean, he's pretty useless on his own. We've got a Scorch card. Nice. Card. Okay, pretty even Stevens here, so I may just play on to try and win the round. Well, maybe I won't actually. So that uh, that would that do a siege card. Oh, well, I'm torn here. This, I don't know. I can't make my mind up whether to throw the round or whether to fight him. Yeah. Yeah, let's fight him then, I guess. Look who's got all the spy cards. Interesting choice of card there. Siege cards. Damn. Okay, right then. So if I was to use my Scorch card now, that would hit his uh, his, his front row cards. Yeah, that would put me in the lead. Maybe I should save it though. Yeah, I'm going to save that. I'm going to use the dandelion. Because that's going to give me more points than it would take off him. Well, no, but the same actually. Could use a scorch card now and take 12 off him. Mm -hmm. 
fact, no, no, I'm going to let him live another day. Save my Scorch card. Okay, he's obviously quite keen to win this. As am I. Okay, he's pulling out all his big cards. He's uh, he's not going to pass this round, is he? He's just going to keep throwing cards at it till he wins it. Okay, so I guess I'm hoping that he's going to use another siege card, so then I get to scorch two. That would be nice. Putting all my eggs in one basket here, all I've got left is siege cards. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, right then, wish me luck on this next round, because if he's got a scorch card, it's all over for me. actually been given a, a spy card. Nice. Oh, now a medic card. Excellent. Another spy card. Okay, come on. Oh dear. I haven't got a clear weather card though. I need him to play something, uh, some infantry card. Oh boy. Okay, mm -hmm. he's got a, he's got a stunning siege pack there. I mean, ours is pretty good as well, to be fair. Well, I'm going to have to play it. Shame, don't get to don't get to scorch anything using this one. Oh, actually, look at that. He's passed. Superb. I'm getting spanked, then, pal. Ta-da! Gotcha this time, buddy. 50 crowns and Clan Drummond Shield Maiden. Okay, we've already got one or more of those. Yeah, it looks like we've got two of those. 
smooth those out. Okay, is there anything else around here? There's the pub and the armourer. La Cage of Foo. Right, no, I don't want to do that. That's a main mission. I want to do the secondary stuff. Night for Hire. That's one we were doing. Yeah, Night for Hire. Let's, uh, let's get back to that. Go to the Ducal Camelengo, which was a pub, perhaps. Back to the city. All right, then. So here's the uh, fast travel point. Hey, doggo. Oh, that's for the tournament, that wasn't it? A return to traditional values. Let's have a. Oh, hang on, what's this then? It must be. Oh, below? Oh, we've met this fella before. Welcome back, Master. Off this guy. Need to get going. Till next time. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Right then, here we are. The Ducal Camelango. Fancy. Until suddenly she is very unkind. One hundred. How might I eat you? I do not need your aid, sir. How might I be of service? Greetings, right. brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads, protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Ah, uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash a hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Nice. Oh, okay, so he's a trader as well. Can't help but be curious, but where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Ooh, he's a bookkeeper. We've got some books that we could sell to him then, I think. Okay, book junk, note junk. Some of these have got to be missions or something, right? Wax for crafting, oh, crafting components. All right then, the civil war in Toussaint. Noble houses of Toussaint. The last basilisk of its kind, a study in ecology. I wonder if these books are somehow useful to us. Gwent, history, read for additional information. 
read for additional information. Okay, well, because I'm curious and I've got to spend my money on mm -hmm. something, I will buy them. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I was just thinking, should I sell mine to him first? But uh, no. All right, I've read that. Okay. And these are all just 24, so that's all right. Me, My Panther and I by Abigail Lett. some of these books. I hope I got a lot, I'm sure I had loads of books that I had uh, multiples of. Come on, please tell me I've got multiples. Not much to sell him, unfortunately. Ay, ay, ay. I must have got rid of my books in one of the other streams there. I don't remember selling all those. Okay, all right, well, they're going to take some reading. I'm not going to bore you all with that. Oh, I wonder, is something... that sound? See you later. Go in peace for a night. Quest updated. Complete the contracts you took on. No way, were they all contracts? Interesting. What quests? Geralt came across an altogether typical looking notice. Someone was looking for the help of knights or other strong men. He concluded he met the above stated requirements and set off for the Knights Dormant Square to meet with the Ducal Camelanga. So, complete the contracts. I mean, are these on the map? Are there 15? Oh, yes, there are. Look at that, 15. Oh, boy. Wow. So, this is, this is the one that gets you out there exploring the world. I guess that's what this is for. Uh, does it say anything there? No, it just says night for hire. Undiscovered location. Okay. Okay. Are we going to... Let's just read a, a couple of these. Just to see if it unlocks some more information. Saying I've already read them. Oh, there's the books I haven't read. Okay. So, the last basilisk of its kind. Let's read that. Based on my observations, I have concluded all species, be they, be they plant, animal, or even insect, are inextricably intertwined with one another. It is no mere coincidence the felling of the beech woods and the vanishing of the rose, who in them once dwelled, led to the disappearance of the sterling basilisks as well. The principle even holds true for ladybirds. For the betterment of learning, I conducted the following experiment. 
I eradicated all the aphids in the palace cabbage patch using a lye solution. Within a few weeks, all of the ladybirds once present in the patch, and there were hundreds, migrated to a neighbouring field. A simple experiment, yet it gave incontrovertible proof of my hypothesis. Good word. Um, right, then, let's see if that has updated my mission. Until suddenly she is very... No. Okay. <coughs> I will read them all though, but in my own time, I'll spare you. The beast. Greetings, knight. Just get your Gwent card. Would you? Uh, hate that one. Okay, what we got? Ooh, two spy cards. Nice. A clear weather card, lovely jubbly. And a morale boost card. Okay, good spread. Of course he's taken that naturally. Yeah, well you would, wouldn't you? Ooh, I've got a Scorch card as well now. Okay, you keep playing cards. What can I do here? So, he'll be up to 11 when he plays that Spy card. So basically, we're even Stevens. So I might as well. Might as well fight him for it, haven't I? I think I'll leave my special cards till the next round because I don't want to get scorched right when you know when it's so important to win. But as usual, we'll play to keep the score as low. We'll play all our worst cards first. Right, so this might be a good time to pull out the old Scorcheroo. He's got, uh, I could take 20 points off him there. Oh wow, that would reduce him t to four. <laughs> yeah, have that mate. Okay, I guess this is uh, where I get scorched now, right? Hmm, or do I pass? No, I can't pass. He's just never, never got enough points to win yet. Right, so I'll just play that morale boost card. Okay, so he needs 20 points to catch up with me. Even cards now, I wonder what he's got. Hmm, right then, do I play my morale boost card? I mean, he's just given me a 7 pointer. So, um, oh, mind you, I could just quit. Yeah. He, you know, he, he needs 27 points there to catch up to me. He's only got so, six cards left. So that would use most of his cards. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can uh, risk a pass there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. These guys are going to have to use quite a lot of his cards now to win. Ah, oh, damn it, another spy card. Another one? Are you kidding me? Well, you, you can't beat him if they're just going to play. 
What? And another one. Okay. Well, you can't win if they're just going to pull out five spy cards. Okay, well, let's hope I can turn the tables a little bit. Uh, let's play, play my medic card and see if I can, uh, yeah. There we go, we'll, we'll only give him one point if we use that one. And that gives me another medic card, that's cool. All right, so, um, Obviously, I'm just going to get another spy card, aren't I? Um, and he's got a 10 there, which means I'm safe from being scorched at the moment. I think that was the lowest spy card, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Out. Very handy. Right, and he has passed at 18. Okay, I only need seven points to win it, so this is uh, I'm going to play the Triss card. So that's won me the round, and I'm going to put the old cow down as well. So that'll start me off with that card worth eight in the next round. Okay. Okay, we might be able to pull this back yet. Cool, right, I've got three siege cards and a morale boost. So that's pretty awesome. Let's just hope he doesn't pull out the old Scorcheroo, eh? I have to win this round, so we're all in. It's just a case of what order do I play the cards in? And he's got a higher card than me now, so I'm safe from a Scorch. Two cards must have been pretty rubbish. There you go, mate. Yeah, there was a there was a time when I didn't think I would win that, but there you go. What you got for us, Cavalengo? Something good. Hmm. <laughs> King Bran certainly sounds like a good card. King Bran, where are you? What am I missing here? He just gave me a King Bran card. You saw that, right? Gave me a King Bran card, and now I don't have a King Bran card. What? I 
Am I tripping? Or have I not got the card that he just gave me? God damn it. Oh, I'm gone. King Bran, of course, it's a leader card. Units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. Well, that's pretty cool. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Shuffles the cards back into their decks. I don't quite understand what that does. To be honest, every last man jack Okay, so that is obviously a you know big exploring quest, Night for Hire, which is probably why it didn't have a level associated with it. What are we now? Level 42. Right then, what's the lowest we've got here? It is 36. Oh no, it's 35. Look at that. And the main quest is 39. Okay, turn and face the strange. Search for Morrow's grave at Orlimer's cemetery using your witch's senses. It was a warm summer evening. Or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no import. What matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusual dis un who informed him about a most unusually discovery she had recently made. Typo there. Um, she'd found mention of research conducted by Professor Moreau on Witcher mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Tucson. Geralt, realising the importance of this discovery, decided to find this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, the first step would be to find the professor's journal, which, according to Yen, had been buried with him. That's a couple of yawns I've had. Sorry, I was up early this morning. Okay, streams of two hours. I'm going to play a little more because I am um, I'm curious what this one's about. So we'll go and search for Morrow's grave. Oh, there it is down there next to a question mark. Excellent. Okay, cool. Right, it's close by. We might as well just run on over. A lot of wine is just huge, isn't it? There's so many, so many missions. By my throat, it is the witcher. What's you, silver locks? Looking for diversion? Look at this fella sleep on the floor. were not deceived yet so far south you sir of all folk in all your fame mm -hmm. me south in all my fame oh, I've heard so much why when master dandelion tarried in Beauclair not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teeds <laughs> yeah unwelcome little habit of his but what can I do for you ah oh. You see, my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? Rude not to help Mr. the lady, Torrey. wouldn't it? Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? 
Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Mm. <gasps> Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Maybe it'd be rude to ask her for more money. We'll just help her. Do out. my damnedest to get your fiance back safe and sound. Just uh Mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Gratouri has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Okay. Um, oh God, what do we do first? I was just saying how many mission, how, how big Blood and Wine is, and how many missions there are, and we don't even get to start another mission um, because you're just picking up missions on the way. But this is a level forty-five, so um, we're going to go back to the one we were on, thirty-five. <laughs> Okay. I will come back to help you later, dear lady. Oh, hang on. I don't know where he's running. The jaw dropping bank home awaits its uh -oh. manager. His tongue no, no, as let's devastating not do as his rash. fists. His reposts bring grown men to witcher. Oh, this, this would be where they're all in the boxing conversation. Uh, boxing conversation. <laughs> I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. And failing. Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancombe is no ordinary fighter. Mancombe? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancombe is a sad, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his reposts are sharp. Uh... No, we will come back to this. I want to fight just now. Should you change your mind? Oh, we will change our minds. Don't you worry. We'll come back and do some fighting. What's going on here? There's another question. There's another exclamation mark here. So, so content to see you. Le Papillon, Troubadour, remember? Yeah. Hey there. How can I forget? I've never found the opportune moment. You see, I never had the chance, in fact, to say, I'm a devoted fan. Hmm. Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know <laughs> the bards, <laughs> every ballad in this cycle about the Witcher. <gasps> oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something from me? Indeed. I'm at a matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean Louis Lotovic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witter who'd prevail. <sighs> what happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean Louis never late to work, he's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Who's Notice that I'm trying to haggle this guy. I will. 
Such opportunities come knocking rarely. But you must take me with you, for I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally. To be expected. Hmm. Right there. What's the bonus rate? Yes, by all means. As okay. you Okay. Excellent. Fine. See what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. You shan't even notice me. Jean-Louis Studio is just there. Right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she writes. Today, all remember my fine couplets at the tourney. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down. Okay, it looks like it looks like we're doing this. You're in Tucson. It would seem the Witcher universe did not want us to do the other uh, quest. Oh shit! Uh, right, it's a level forty-three quest. Force open the doors. If I will we fail this if I don't do it now? Wager, you must well, let's, the let's see if we can do that later then. Champion. Champion. Can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I can see. Right, I'm just gonna wait until morning. Because it's a bit awkward doing things in the dark. And a new marker, excellent. Right, so the grave is around here somewhere. Some drowners. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? That's your lot, is it, boys? Okay. Ooh, so that was the question mark. Excellent. We got ourselves a bit of looty. A sodden letter and an ornate key. The letter is soaked through and falling apart and can barely be read. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selina at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too, so don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover, but remember, she was also the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jewel of Mattenberg's shop, so burying Selina with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in a lake or hang yourself from any branch you choose. Robin. Hmm. Interesting. So. There's some loot hanging around somewhere. There's nickel and copper. A rusty hammerhead, an elven whetstone, a shell, and a Tucson knife. Molly, oh. What else we got around here then? Hmm. 
Hmm, is that supposed to lead us somewhere then? <coughs> oh, it's gas. Gotta be careful of the old gas. Beehive or something around here, isn't there? There was a fella that was asking for bees, wasn't there? I mean, I'm guessing this is what I want to examine, but there's nothing showing up. Right, that's a fast travel point. What's going on here then? This tree is at the centre. Search for Morrow's grave. I mean, is this it? Ah! There we go, Thomas Moreau, Professor, and then something in Elvish. Inscriptions in Elder Speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Hmm, okay. Use your witcher senses to look for clues about the location of Professor Moreau's laboratory. Damn, Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Ellerin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Check the location of Nevda on the map Yennefer sent you. Oh, what's this? I better get that quick before it um, before it disappears. Comes age like wine. Oh, the puppy on you, lucky scoundrel! Clever Clogs Tavern, right? We had a mission here. Yeah. Where's the fire? Enough to feed the toys. Oh, where's the fire? We've got to get upstairs. How do we, how do we get upstairs? The scrapings are out here. At least the weather's pleasant. <laughs> from the heavens. The workers have hung up their pickaxes and taken to grilling stick and stick. <coughs> oh. How does one go upstairs in this place? Do 
Do I have to go inside the building? Right, we're back to where the guys were scrapping. Oh yeah, I need some... Oh, hang on, is that the... Ah, oh, that might be the mission. Oh, hang on, no, it's not, is it? With a bottle in front of me. It's my warmest greetings. Sir Geralt of Rivia, three cheers for the Tony's victor. Hip hip hooray! 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 Okay, yeah, I'm gonna rob you for that. Okay, so that question mark isn't here then. Maybe it's in the next house. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. Hmm. Upstairs in the pub. Eat, drink, and be merry. Dusty, the prophet, let me order. Whose notion of order is this? Why doesn't someone do something? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes. And I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps. Mm -hmm. The all mm -hmm. must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, wag! Thud! As if another bear slammed pig first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Not offering a lot of money for this. Let's uh, bump it up to. Oh, hang on. Be... Not a lot. Uh, let's just ask him for another tenner. Agreed. Fine. I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be. It doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers. Tramps remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. I shall find the crump, the culprit for you, sir. Okay, check the location of Nevda on the map Yennefer sent you. So, uh, where is the map quest items? No, that's not it. Letter of safe conduct, that's not it. Old map of Toussaint. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Camp Belladol's map, no. Christ, well, I don't remember which map she gave us. Is 
Is it just marked on the map, or do I in fact I have to? No, it's not. Uh, check the location and left it on the map. You never sent you. Christ, I don't know where the flipping map is. Oh, okay, let's go back to the inventory. Let's, let's have another look. I don't see anything on there that is that seems significant to me. What am I missing? Letter about Yennefer. Right, did that come with a map? This is frustrating, and I'm really having to look through every flipping piece of paper in my inventory. Or am I missing something?
Thanks for figuring that out for me, Geralt. Uh, I guess one of the things that I read in the inventory has just led to his revelation there. Live to spite others. Search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory in the flooded ruins of the Valley of the Nine. Okay, I think this one might be for another stream. <clears throat> yes, sir. Right. If you've been watching, then I thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you join me for the next stream. So, until next time, ta bit.